This is the LinkBot. It's an educational robot that gets kids coding in the classroom. Let me show you how it works. It's a modular robot, which means it has accessories that snap together and they really won't get lost in the carpet. But you can put uh, the robot together in different configurations depending on curriculum. The robots will wirelessly pair together and it enables some pretty unique features like uh, tilt drive where you're using one robot to control the other robot driving on the table. We have other modes like copycat where you can turn the hub of one and it controls the other. This is a way to get the younger kids engaged very quickly and start working on team building skills. Uh, but really there's a big gap between remote control cars and programming. So we bridge that gap with something we call post coding. We have buttons on the top of the robot which you can press and create behaviors based off of motions that the robot makes. So you start with your hands on the robot. When you push play, our software links those poses together and creates a fluid motion. It's possible to connect multiple robots together to create very complex behaviors, like a humanoid standing up or a salamander type robot. I'm gonna clear the old program, record the first pose, make a change to the, the configuration, record the second pose, and when I push play, it's gonna link those poses together into a fluid motion. We convert these poses instantly into C++ and Python programming languages. Now, I wanna share something very exciting with you. It's something we're calling the LinkBot Hub. It's a plug and play programming environment that enables any device, a PC, Chromebook, pad, smartphone, it enables any device to control robots and execute industry standard programming languages like Python and C++ in the browser without an extension, installed software, drivers. It is completely standalone and I'm really excited to, to share how it works. So let's dive in. After plugging the LinkBot Hub into the same network as your computer, open LinkBotLabs.com. I use my Google account to log into LinkBotLabs.com and the first thing that will pop up is the LinkBot Hub Manager. Type in the LinkBot Hub serial number, which is found on a sticker on the outside of the hub, and the system automatically connects to the hub on your wireless network. Now that it's connected, we're able to add LinkBots. I'm going to take the four uh, number letter serial number off the top of the robot and enter it into LinkBot Labs Robot Manager. Push Add. And that's it. We just set up a programming environment in three clicks. We're now able to control the LinkBot using Blockly, Python, C++, and we're looking at other programming languages to come. Now, now that I've shown you how easy it is to get things set up, let's start diving into the curriculum. Most people start with Blockly, so we'll go there. Now, the first thing you'll see is a connect block to B7X3. Uh, makes, and then a color block that will change the robot's color. Let's drag and drop uh, a drive forward and a turn. We have blocks that control all aspects of the robot hardware. The multicolor LED, the uh, buzzer, the, uh, the hubs, and even record button events and accelerometer values. So when I push run, the robot will drive forward and the simulation will follow along uh, along on the right hand side. You can even drag and drop uh, loops to create more interesting uh, programs. So let's make that, that drive forward and turn uh, two more times and create a square. 
Now, uh, you can see here on our Python tab on the right-hand side, uh, we're dynamically generating code from the blocks. And you're able to change things around and the code will, will match it. So let's, let's put this program back together and copy the Python out of Blockly. So I'm gonna go back to the main page and scroll down to our Python programming environment. This is a fully featured um, IDE. I'm gonna paste it in. You can see the, the color coordinated uh, functions and, and um, uh, variables. Now, on the right hand side is the terminal. It's showing that we've connected to the LinkBot hub and we're ready to execute code. So I'm gonna push play. The program is sent over to the LinkBot hub. The program is executed and the LinkBot hub controls robot, the robot. Now it's possible to actually take this, uh, this type of uh, method and, and go all the way to C++. So let me show you that real quick. Again, we've, we've connected to the LinkBot hub uh, on the network. We push run and the, the program is sent over to the hub, compiled, executed, and you get an output back. Now, if we make an error, if we, if we break the, the program, you'll get real uh, real time error codes in order to help debug. I think you can see just how powerful it is to have a fully featured programming environment in the browser without having to install software, drivers, or even an extension. Now, the LinkBot Hub is self-sufficient, self-updating, and requires little to no IT support, which means that the teacher can focus on teaching and not technical support. This is a unique paradigm where all the programs are being executed and the robots are being controlled from a central location, which enables unique classroom management tools. The teacher is able to uh, use their, their special privileges in linkbotlabs.com to push out lessons to t students who are under their account so that uh, the only thing that the student has access to on the website is the lesson of the day. Also, when the students get a little too engaged and uh, a little too hands-on, the teacher has a stop all button that causes all the robots to go silent and limp in the classroom. This is a way to keep the, the you know, students on track and have a very, you know, a high uh, student to teacher ratio that's actually an effective teaching environment in the classroom. So we've partnered with uh, uh, local schools and using PRISM grants in order to develop uh, the beginnings of a Blockly curriculum. And we've partnered with uh, the, the National Science Foundation to develop a in-depth Python uh, programming curriculum. Uh, we're really excited by our partnership with CSTEM at UC Davis, who uses our robots uh, to teach C++ in the classroom in high school and elementary. You can see how powerful it is to have a smooth transition from hands-on experience to intermediary programming environments like Blockly and Post Coding that will flatten the learning curve to Python and C++, which are industry standard programming languages. We do it in a hands-on way that makes it more engaging for younger and younger students. And we found a huge need in today's elementary school classroom for these vital 21st century skills.